Hey everyone! The 0.52.0 version of Modern Warships has finally been released, and today, we'll be looking at the major and anticipated contents of this new version. In this version, only one ship is added, and that's the CN Type 055A. The CN Type 055A is a Tier 3 epic destroyer, and as you can see, it is essentially just Type 055 but the armaments are modified so that it can be classified as an epic ship. It has three missiles, one cannon, one torpedo, two grenade launchers, six air defenses, one special air defense that is similar to S-400 on RF Storm, and lastly, it has one helicopter. Its firepower is similar to RF Leader as both ships almost have the same attack armaments, but its air defense is much superior, making it more capable in battle. This ship is not available in the shop, it's the last free prize for this month's battle pass. Now for the aircraft. There are four aircraft added in this new version, these are the F-2, T-4, Dark Sword, and the H-6N. The F-2 is a Tier 2 premium attack aircraft, and it is equipped with a cannon, powerful anti-ship missiles, a very lethal bomb, and an anti-air missile that is a bit more powerful than the anti-air missile of the F-14. The F-2 also has a great speed, it's a bit faster than any of the currently existing attack aircraft in Tier 2, which is good, as that will allow you to be able to reach and strike your target quickly. This aircraft is available in the shop, and since it's a premium aircraft, it's sold in gold. The T-4 is a Tier 2 premium fighter aircraft and it is equipped with a machine gun and anti-air missile that is used by F-2. This fighter plane is just as fast as F-18, making both of them the fastest fighter aircraft in Tier 2. However, it's the most durable fighter aircraft in Tier 2 now, as it possesses the highest durability. This aircraft is available in the shop, and since it's also a premium aircraft, it's also sold in gold. The Dark Sword is a Tier 3 epic drone, and it is equipped with three anti-ship missiles, one of those missiles is a hypersonic missile. It's also equipped with a powerful railgun, and it has an anti-air missile to fight against air targets. Its firepower is great, and can be compared with the Bayraktar Muse B. As for its stats, there's nothing too special with it, it has average stats for an epic drone. All in all, it's a very capable drone that could rival all of the epic drones. The H-6N is a Tier 3 epic bomber, but it is more of a missile bomber like the Russian bombers, as it carries more missiles than bombs. It is equipped with three anti-ship missiles and only one type of bomb. What's great about this bomber is that one of the anti-ship missiles it carries is a hypersonic missile with a nuclear warhead. It's the first of its kind to be added to the game, and it's very devastating to its targets, especially submarines and destroyers. The Dark Sword and H6N are the items for the VIP Pass for the new season of the Battle Pass, which means you can get them by purchasing this month's VIP Pass. You can also get it through the Battle Pass market, but you do need to wait until the current season of Battle Pass ends for it to show up in the market. Now for the weapons. There are three weapons added in this new version, these are the HPJ 45B, YJ 21, and the U 7. The HPJ 45B is a Tier 3 epic cannon, which can fire on surface and air targets. This cannon has much more damage per minute than some of the epic cannons, such as the Armat and Koalitsia. The YJ 21 is a Tier 3 epic missile, it is a hypersonic missile that has the same speed as the current X 51. The missile has much weaker damage compared to DF-17, however, it has damage per minute that is equal to Zircon. It may not have the speed that Zircon has, but its speed and durability are enough for the missile to penetrate air defenses. The U-7 is a Tier 3 epic torpedo, and it's the first Tier 3 torpedo with a round of burst of 2. Its damage per minute is in between that of A-244 and Physic, which isn't too impressive, but it's a good torpedo nonetheless, especially if we consider its round of burst. These three weapons are available in the shop and sold in in-game dollars. The CN Type 055A comes with special camouflages, these are the Golden Tiger and the White Tiger camouflage. The Golden Tiger was supposed to be the only special camouflage added in this new version, but some players didn't like how it looks, hence the White Tiger camouflage was added. These two camouflages cost 14,000 gold, but if you can get the ship before the battle pass end, you can get the White Tiger Camouflage for free. Those are all the new items added in this new version. In the mechanics, there are only very few notable changes that were made. They've added an indicator for players who left the battle, so now you'll know who left the battle. 
They've also increased the number of projectiles of all guns of all planes, now the guns deal more damage, however, the projectiles also scatter a little faster now. So if you want to inflict as much damage as possible on your enemies with your cannon, you must fire it in a short burst. Those are all changes in the mechanics. Lastly, in the interface, they've improved their ship filtration, now you can filter ships by class, and that's pretty much it for the interface of the game in this new update. Those are all the major changes in this new update, so what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. Now that's all for today's video, hopefully you guys liked it, and if you all did, please leave a like and subscribe to support me. Thank you so much for watching.